It's a question from unit error method in time and work, and let's solve this question together. The question says A, B, and C can finish a piece of work in 24, 32, and 48 days respectively. They start the work together for four days, and A leaves. First of all, uh, let us write down the information. A can do a can do one work is overall work one part of work in 24 days days so we can write a can do less number of work in less number of days in one day if the day is reduced to one he can do less work that is 1 by 24th part of work in one day it's as they are directly proportional for example say we can buy two pens two pens for 24 rupees then we can then for one pen it costs 24 divided by 2 which is equal to 12 pens same is the case over here same is the case over here in 24 days he can do one work and in one day he can do 1 by 24 work it's the simple concept Now let us write down first B and C also. So I've written the information over here. B can do 1 by 32 work in one day and C, C can do 1 by 48 work in one day. If they work together for one day, the part of work they could complete is we can just add it together. A, B, and C can do can can do. I write the work later on in one day. So what's the part of work they can do together is one by twenty four. Is done by A, 1 by 32 is done by B, and 1 by 48 is done by C. If we sum it together, 1 divided by 24 plus 1 divided by 32, 32 plus 1 divided by 48. If we sum this together and take the LCM, what we get is 3 by 32 part of work in one day you can just solve it and get this answer 3 by 32 work in one day so what we can further determine here is A plus B plus C can do overall one work in 32 goes becomes the numerator and 3 becomes the denominator that is 32 divided by 3 days they can complete one total work now again from our question what we know is they start to work together for 4 days and A leaves it means that A, B and C have uh, has worked together for four days so we can determine what part of work they do in four day from here we can say sorry we can say a plus b plus c can do 3 by 32 work in one day I've written it for from above case 
so in in four days in four days a b c can do more work so we have to multiply over here times four work in four days this gives this gives three a work in four days four days so uh, this is the part of work they complete uh, working for four days together now the remaining work is what we can do is remaining work R W is total work T W minus completed work that is C W it's just a general representation total work is always one in fraction and uh, the completed work is 3 divided by 8 this gives 5 divided by 8 part of work is our remaining work this is our remaining work for as A has already left this becomes the remaining work for B and C this is our remaining work for B and C now again from our question here what we can determine what we can say is B also leaves uh, the work six days before the completion of the work means what we can assume here is uh, as B has left C has worked alone C has worked alone at last for six days six days as B has uh, left six days before the completion of work so C has uh, completed the work in remaining remaining work in last six days working alone so we can determine here is Etsy has worked alone for six days we can say C can do 1 by 48 times 6 work in six days because he can do more work in six days so it gets multiplied six eight that is one eighth work in six days. Now once again let's get back to the question. As we know C has worked uh, at last for six days. He can do uh, he has done the remaining work. He has done the remaining work in last six days which is 1 by 8 works so A and B so our remaining work over here for uh, B and C was 5 by 8 but 1 by 8 part has already been completed by C so we can say uh, so what we can say is by working together B and C has done working together working together B plus C has done uh, 5 by 8 was our remaining work for B and C but 1 by 8 work has already been completed by C alone work which is 8 is LCM 5 minus 1 gives 4 that is one half work has been done together by B and C so once again what we can write here is we can I've written this information from the question uh, B can do 1 by 32 work in one day and C can do 1 by 48 work in one day so if they work together for one day they can complete 1 by 32 plus 1 by 48 work in one day which is equal to 1 by 32 plus 1 by 48 work is equal to 5 by 96 work in one day so we can say B plus C can do one work one work in 96 becomes numerator and 5 becomes denominator 
in 96 divided by 5 days uh, but uh, we have to determine how much days has it take for B and C to do one half work so B plus C can do can do less work that is one half work in less number of days that is 96 divided by 5 times 1 by 2 days this gives 48 divided by 5 days so to complete the remaining work which was one half for B and C it takes 45 days and B alone has done the remaining work in 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 six days over here uh, and they together have worked for four days so what we can say is that the total work that the total work is completed is completed in in uh, four days plus Six days plus forty eight forty eight divided by five days, which keeps ninety eight divided by five days. I hope you have understand, so please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.